We have learned that to take the derivative of a polynomial, we can use this formula. When we take the derivative of t to the nth degree, we bring the exponent down, and we lose one degree of power. In this lesson, we're going to talk about integration, which is the reverse operation of taking derivative. Remember that the definition of integration is this. To integrate means to add, so the integration sign means the sum of. The t to the nth dt means the t to the nth times delta t. When we add up the t to the nth times delta t under the limit that delta t is so small that it approaches to zero, we change the capital letter D in Greek, the delta, to the lowercase d, and we have the definition for integration. Unit-wise, if t is time in seconds, then t to the nth times delta t would have a unit of seconds to the nth degree times seconds, which gives us seconds to the n plus 1. This means we will gain 1 degree of power when we integrate a polynomial. The formula for the integration of t to the nth degree is t to the n plus 1 times 1 over the new exponent. We gain 1 degree of power. The symbol d dt is what we use for the operation of taking derivative with respect to t. So d dt goes together. When we're done with taking derivative, the entire d dt is gone. The symbol for integration is this whole thing. So after we integrate, this whole thing is gone. We don't write the integration sign here. We don't write dt over here either. Now let's try a few examples. Let's start with the integral of t to the third dt. According to the formula, we have to gain one degree of power. So we go from t to the third to t to the fourth. And then we have to remember to multiply by one over this new exponent, so one fourth. Because the integration is the reverse operation of derivative, that means if we take derivative of this, we should get t to the third. So let's try it. If I take derivative of one-fourth t to the fourth dt, then one-fourth, the constant coefficient, should stay right there. And when we take derivative, we have to bring this exponent down, four, and then we lose one degree of power, so we get t to the third. As you can see, this is the reason why we have to have 1 over n plus 1 over here, because when we take derivative of t to the fourth, we get a 4 on the side. But uh, here, we do not have the 4 times t to the third. So we have to multiply by 1 over 4, so we can cancel the 4 with the 1 fourth. And now the derivative is t to the third. This way, when we take derivative of 1 fourth t to the fourth, we will get t to the third, which means if we integrate t to the third, we should get 1 fourth times t to the fourth. Now let's try the integral of 5 times t to the negative 2 dt. The constant coefficient 5 would stay right there. And then we gain one degree of power, so t to the negative 2 becomes t to the negative 1, because we have to add 1 to negative 2. And then we have to remember to multiply by 1 over this new exponent, so 1 over negative 1 over here, so we get negative 5 times t to the negative 1. Of course, that's also negative 5 over t. Now let's try this one. There are two terms, so we will do one term at a time. 7 is the same as 7 times t to the zeros, because t to the zeros is 1. So to integrate 7, we get 7, the constant coefficient stays right there, and then we gain 1 degree of power, so t to the zeros becomes t to the first. And then we have to remember to do 1 over the new exponent, 1 over 1. 
and then let's take care of the second term. It's minus three, and then we gain one degree of power. So t to the one half becomes t to the three halves, and then we have to remember to divide one by three halves. So this gives us seven times t minus two t to the three halves.